Hey guys, Jano Zero, how you doing? I uh, hope all is well out there in YouTube land. Um, all right, let's do a garden update. Here's where we are with the garden. Um, we've got, when we start over here on this end, we've got a row of okra that's growing and coming up real good right through here. And then we got two rows of tomatoes, which are doing really, really well. You can see there's got lots of flowers on them. And they've got uh, quite a few already small green tomatoes. I don't know if you can see them tomatoes back in there or not. Green tomatoes on them. And they're doing very well. We've got a row of peppers and then a row of, these here are some cantaloupes. And then we got some cucumbers and a couple of uh, um, just regular uh, butter crunch squashes down here. The peppers are doing really well. See, we already got a pepper that's just about ready right there, but not a whole lot you can do with one pepper. But uh, doing good. Yeah, we need to weed, but it is what it is. Down here, we've got a little corn patch. This is our three sisters area. I do my three sisters differently than what everybody else does, uh, so don't give me a bunch of crap about it. I'm just doing it the way that I did it. I already had my rows laid out whenever I decided to do it, the three sisters area. But uh, what we've done is we've got squash in between the corn plants and then right next to each one of the corn plants we've got beans. Uh, the beans are just now starting to sprout. You're probably not going to be able to see them. But they're just now starting to sprout around, around the bottom of the corn plants. There's a sprout. And there's a little sprout. And those beans will train them. They'll grow over to the corn and grow up the, grow up the corn stalks. This little patch of ground here, you can see some of the corn is doing really well and some of it is kind of struggling uh, some of the corn didn't come up didn't germinate very good because i used old seed so we replanted so this stuff over here is the uh, is the replants and uh, like i say there's some grass and some weed and stuff in the middle of the rows but uh that's okay that's uh but this tells me a couple of things from looking at this ground this over here whenever we start uh putting rabbit poo and goat poo and uh, stuff like that for fertilizer we'll need to do this area of the garden here with a little more poo and a little more fertilizer. So uh, they kind of help beef up the soil a little bit so we can get them all to grow like this uh, This corn over here is. So there's a look at uh, from the other side over here. This particular garden is doing very well. This is the first year for this garden area. This is where the trampoline and the clubhouse was over here on this garden. And then we've got our berries, uh, blackberries and raspberries. The raspberries we just put in this year. Uh, and they're alive and growing. We've got uh, the blackberries that are that are second year, so they're all putting on new canes, and we're going to get a couple of berries off of that. We've got another row of tomatoes right through here uh, that we do have stakes for. These tomatoes back over here, instead of running stakes on each individual plant, since I got so many plants crammed into a small area, what we did was we just put T posts at each end of the rows, and then ran uh, some old clotheslines back and forth uh, to help prop them up and then we're just kind of weaving them through as they grow up we just kind of weave them through uh, and it'll be a nice big thick patch of tomatoes that's uh, they're all looking very healthy and they're all looking really well so uh, i'm not too concerned about uh, you know having any kind of choking each other out thing going on the little orchard here the little fruit trees are doing good this is the uh uh, the second year for these little trees so hopefully another couple of years and they'll start putting fruit on we've got Three, three peach trees. There's two peach trees there and a peach tree. And then we've got a cherry tree. Uh, we've got two apple trees, a pear tree, and a plum tree. And then this here is another row of, these are pumpkins, uh, the sweet uh, sh uh, pumpkin pie pumpkins down through here. Uh, like I said, another row of tomatoes down here. And then down there, about right there, you can't see that. But it's not very good dirt. It's really, really rocky. So I won't plant down there next year. But I got one row of of uh, the uh, Kushaw winter squashes that are growing down there. They don't look real good, but uh, we'll try to bait them as much as we can to see if we can't get something out of them. So that is the gardens uh, on this end of our little home place here. And uh, hopefully we're gonna get some, uh, some rain here this afternoon. And uh, that'll save us a little bit of watering. So this is the, uh, how this end of the garden looks. Now we'll take a walk over and uh, look at the rest of the stuff. 
All right, the potato planters right here uh, are doing very well. This is the half barrel potato planter. The potato plants are looking real good in that. These are just some various herbs and there's a strawberry plant and uh, that kind of stuff. The cheeseburger seeds are not sprouting. Remember I put the cheeseburger seeds in here. Uh, when I find that guy, he even gave me some granulated unicorn farts to sprinkle on there to make them bloom and make them grow and they're not growing. So uh, I'll get that guy the next time I get down to the farmer's market there. <laughs> uh, the, the potato box, uh, you can see those potatoes went insane, man. They're loving it. They're, uh, they're big, healthy plants. So hopefully that's going to produce a lot of, of, uh, of potatoes for us, as well as that barrel there. Hopefully we're going to get a lot of potatoes out of there. And uh, we'll see what happens. I see uh, Swamp Rat Man, he did one. Uh, he's making his out of old tires, which ought to work just fine. So my opinion anyway that'll work just fine the strawberries uh, have just about run their course for the year we may get uh, this this patch here of strawberries is the ever bearing we may get a couple here and there off of this patch uh, the rest of the summer but um, we won't get a whole lot out of them right now they're gonna be putting off runners that we'll start training the runners into the empty spaces so they can grow more plants down here at this end of the wall this strawberry patch uh, is done for the year. They are what they call the June bearing strawberries, which means they only put berries on uh, one time a year and then they're done. The rest of the time they'll be putting off these little runner plants. They'll be putting off these little vines that have runners on them that we'll just take and push them up to where these, uh, see how these new plants are starting up here? That'll fill in this whole new part of the strawberry patch for us. And uh, hopefully next year it'll be twice as big with twice as much. We got probably a total of somewhere between 18 to 20 pounds of strawberries between both patches this year. I'm very happy with that and uh, hopefully we'll be that much more come next year. Um, all you can do is all you can do. So now we'll come down here to the other garden. Hang on a minute so I don't fall down the dang hill. All right this down here, excuse the feed sacks, we just got through with feeding and everything and uh, putting the feed away and the wind blew the feed sacks down here by the garden but these two boxes down here, you can see that potatoes are doing really well in these boxes. And uh, also, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but um, at this end, we've got some carrots that are running in a row right through there. And then down at that end, we've got a patch of lettuce uh, down through here that's doing well. And in the bottom box down here, We've got uh, potatoes and cabbages. The cabbages have come up and they're doing really well as well. Some of those cabbages down there are getting really big. We've got about 20 or so chickens left to butcher, which we'll get over the next couple of days. It takes a long time to go through 75 chickens, y'all. And the green bean patch is doing very well. We're getting ready to put a, the next planting in. What we'll do is uh, we'll weed it out because you see there's quite a bit of weeds in there. We'll weed it out the best we can. And then we'll plant right next to these rows here, right next to, uh, to the side of these, uh, these plants that are in there. We'll plant more green beans. That way we'll get another harvest and maybe we'll do that three times. But also, looking at this garden, you can see how fast the weeds are growing. And you can see how green everything is. And how, you know, like the beans are already starting to flower. So also what we're going to do here in the next couple of days when we plant the second planting of beans in here, I'm going to also plant four rows of sweet corn because I've grown green beans in this garden for two years and they've done very, very well uh, for both years. So I know that this dirt down here is good dirt and it's got a lot of nitrogen in it from all the beans we've been growing. So I'm gonna plant some sweet corn in here and it'll be late summer sweet corn that'll grow alongside the green beans and uh, it'll be like a two sisters garden type of thing. And then the, uh, these back, this back row back here is sunflowers because everybody loves sunflower seeds, including the chickies. And uh, so that's what we got so far. Like I said, we've got another garden area back up in there, but I'm not gonna walk up the creek to it. That's just got some squash plants. That's about all we can grow up there. And the, it's got a lot of shade up there. So uh, it's up in that area right through there. But that, we've got some more uh, pumpkins and more uh, winter squashes up there. So there you go, guys. There you have it. There's my garden update. Uh, so far, everything's doing well. I know I got a lot of weeds. Don't give me a bunch of crap about it, but we do the best we can to keep the weeds down. Sometimes you're fighting a losing battle though when you get rain every four or five days and then you get four or five days of sunshine. It's hard to keep up with you know when you got large gardens. So don't feel bad if you got weeds in your garden and your garden doesn't look beautiful and perfect. 
as long as it's producing, which uh, our gardens are, as long as they're producing food, it's a good garden. So there you go. And remember, if I can do it, you guys can do it. So uh, we'll give you another update here in another month or so as uh, things start moving along a little bit better. And I hope your gardens are doing great. You guys, thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day. God bless. And the end. Buzz, buzz, the end.